On her initial visit to the cliff-top Carbisdale Castle, Samantha Kane remarked, everything looked like it would fall apart. The country property had a problem with water seeping into certain areas, and several of the rooms were in very bad shape. The Highland home had been listed for sale three times in six years when the London-based barrister went to see it last year. Some prospective buyers appeared to have been turned off by the castle's high upkeep costs or perhaps by rumours that the building was haunted by a ghostly white lady. But Lady Samantha Kane of Carbisdale Castle, the attorney, was curious. I heard it had been sold, but the deal fell through, so it was back on the market, the woman claims. I reasoned that I ought to at least go and see it. So I booked a last-minute flight to Inverness and travelled to the Highlands for the first time.